Sarah Baume's debut novel, A Line Made by Walking, is a haunting and introspective exploration of mental illness, creativity, and the connection between humans and the natural world. The novel follows the story of Frankie, a young artist struggling with depression who moves to her deceased grandmother's vacant bungalow in the Irish countryside in an attempt to find solace and inspiration. Through Frankie's internal monologue and reflections on art, nature, and personal history, Baume creates a powerful narrative that examines the complex interplay between human experience and the environment. The novel is structured around Frankie's artistic project of creating a line made by walking in the grass behind her grandmother's bungalow. As she walks back and forth along the same path, Frankie contemplates the nature of art, the transience of life, and the fragility of the human mind. Baume's prose is introspective and poetic, with a strong sense of place and attention to detail that vividly brings the Irish countryside to life. Through Frankie's observations of the natural world around her, Baume explores themes of renewal and decay, highlighting the beauty and brutality of the cycle of life. At the heart of the novel is Frankie's struggle with mental illness. Baume portrays Frankie's depression with sensitivity and nuance, capturing the complexity of her emotional and psychological state. Through Frankie's memories and reflections, the novel examines the way mental illness can distort a person's sense of self and their relationship with the world. At times, Frankie's experiences are harrowing and difficult to read, but Baume's writing is always empathetic and non-judgmental. She acknowledges the reality of Frankie's pain while also recognizing the moments of beauty and connection that can emerge from even the darkest of experiences. The novel is also a meditation on the nature of creativity and the role of art in shaping our understanding of the world. Frankie's reflections on art and the artistic process are insightful and thought-provoking, and Baume captures the ways in which art can serve as a means of coping with pain and making sense of the world around us. At the same time, she is careful not to romanticize the artistic temperament, acknowledging the toll that creative work can take on a person's mental health and relationships. Throughout the novel, Baume's writing is marked by a deep sense of compassion and empathy. She brings a rich cast of secondary characters to life, including Frankie's parents, her ex-boyfriend, and her eccentric neighbor, Mrs. Quigley. Each character is rendered with care and specificity, and their interactions with Frankie provide important insights into her character and her struggles. The novel is also marked by a sense of humor and playfulness, particularly in Frankie's interactions with Mrs. Quigley, which provide moments of levity amidst the novel's more somber reflections. In the end, A Line Made by Walking is a powerful and moving exploration of the human experience. Through Frankie's story, Baume captures the complexity and beauty of life, the fragility of the human mind, and the power of art to help us make sense of it all. The novel is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, and a reminder of the profound connections that exist between ourselves, each other, and the natural world.